Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use jot form step by step. So don't miss anything whatever I am trying to say in this video whatever I am trying to portray. Just listen to that carefully, follow the steps and I am pretty sure you will be succeeded when you will be doing this. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get started. So as you can see this is the jotform.com looks like. This is the interface you will see when you will arrive here for the first time. and. Uh, it says three options over here one with sign up with google second sign up with facebook and third sign up with email so i'm going with the sign up with google because my google account my google account is connected to every single account out there with every platform so that's the only reason i'm going with the google account and keep in mind that these are the things that we will covering in future so just leave it for now and I'm going to sign up now with Google for the first time. So I'm going to log in with this account. So this is how the interface will look like when you will sign up for the first time. It says you will, your forms will appear here. We don't have any forms right now. So we will create form. But first of all, we are going here. You can see there are multiple options over here. You can also create form from here there's multiple options over here so we will covering this all just for now just watch here and right now you can see in all forms right beneath the all forms you can see there's a create a new folder just to organize your form secondly share with me if anyone have shared with you your their link with you their signed form for you they your drafts of your favorites your archives and your deleted items your trash so these are very normal things that you usually see in uh, other applications so you you will know about it so without wasting any more time i'm going to create a form right now i'm going to click from here and here you can click from either way so i'm going from here so as you can see you can create a form with three options on the left side the first option is to start from scratch if you want to start from very zero or from very bottom you can start from here but i would prefer use template because we have 10000 plus already made forms so you can go with this this is the best idea in my opinion and you can import forms if anyone have sent you and if you have any you can import from here so right now I'm going with the use template and you will know how to uh, select templates. So let's go with it. So as you can see, this is the template page looks like. You can see there are multiple options over here, but right now we are going towards the left side and you can see there are types, industries and professions. Right now we are going to see what are the things in types menu so order forms registration form even even registration form payment form so you have a lot of things over here and if you click on all categories you will find more so these all are the types of forms you can get access to so yeah this is a lot and if we go at industries this is another category you can add industries from here you can choose professions from here and if you have any uh, specific you, you do remember their name you can also search here if you want and just go for it you can do filter you can do trending you can do recent popular etc well, moving on so what are we going to do we are going to search lime theme contact this is the theme that i want so i'm going to search it over here lime theme let's just let's just search land theme so here we are we we got the land theme contact us form this is what i'm going to uh show how to con how to make your template so yeah you can also preview it from here if you want i'm going to just use template this is how it will look like once you arrived here you can see it will tell you how to use forms so right now i'm telling you how to use forms how to create your form so just say nothing all right uh 
just close everything and you will see this the this is the interface right now let's talk about this area uh, you can see it says that add your logo we can add add our logo over here uh, just from the uh, computer if you want uh, you can uh, adjust this like if you go in the properties over here you can change anything you can change the label of it you can change the alignment of it you can change uh, requirement if you want to require their name you can have from here you know you can see the little star over here it, that means they have to fill this out so you have sub labels you, ha you can also duplicate this so we don't want that that we just deleted all right this is the email you can do the same things over here if you want you can go in options you have multiple options over here you have advanced hover text uh read only shrink height field so these are the just properties which you can use for this area this only for this email properties so these all are the things that all you need to know right now so right now we are going towards the left side here you can add again from here you can add heading if you want like we can put this here you no know? you can add emails you can add everything product list or if we say you can add this signature area everyone can signature here if they want um there's a lot of things you can add from here you can add star rating which is very important i guess so you can do that too so these are the things that uh you can put in this form i'm going to just delete it because i don't need and i don't want to that make a traffic over here uh these are the pay payment methods you can add here if if there's something uh to pay or there's anything going on about subscription there uh moving on with the widgets you can add widgets i don't need widgets over here so let's just move on these all are the things that you can add in this forms that's the whole point and uh, that's it on this is on your left side and if you go on your right side you can see this is the form of designer what does that mean it means that you can change the theme all right you can change the theme of the form i think this one is better uh you can change the uh, form color you can change the form image uh, font color and you can input background also here if you want if you want to remove image from here you can do that too from here so these are the just, just the styles if you want to add and you can also change the font uh style if you want and uh, you can change the themes you can change everything you can change the layout from here so these are the things for the theme and colors and fonts these all are the things in on your right side here what we are going to do now that uh, we are going to publish it so before that we are going add in settings you can set form status and properties obviously you can enable and disable it if you want you can send emails to anyone you can create conditional logic you can show on after submit like this is the uh, thank you page like if anyone have submitted so this will look like at the end this is the publish area and uh, this is the form link which you will share and if you open it this will look like like this all right I'm going to fill it with my number and everything all right I'm gonna hide this obviously I'm going to send this and it will show you got the response as you can see it it notified me so if I if I go at uh, forms right now view form oh sorry if you go in inbox you can see i have the response over here uh, which i have given so it 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 will record your uh, if anyone have any submitted a form so yeah 
this is the record of our effect and if you go in jot form right from the start you can see it shows the form the first form lime theme content and say it one submission have been done created on june 15 2022 so this is the all jot form process you can do for your forms if you want to create and uh, thank you for watching